Hello, everybody. This is Bill McFadden from TonePure.com. And in this video, we're going to take a look at a reverb that is a convolution and algorithmic combined, plus a few extras. So the first thing we'll look at is a piano. Then we'll look at voices in the reverb for that, strings, electric guitars, acoustic, um, basically French horns and then an orchestra. So let's go ahead and get started with the piano. The piano that uh, we're using is the Piano Tech. And right now the reverb we have on it is called Classic Piano. So as you can see from this display here, there's a hall and a room, early reflections. Now here we have a mod that allows us to uh, add a little bit of life to the reverb if so desired. By double clicking, you can turn that off. Also, I'll put it back on. Here we have a drive, which has allows you to color a little bit algorithmically. And there's the drive applied to the color. And then here we have controls, time, color, diffuse level, high pass filter for your reverb. And here are the, the hall, the room, and the early reflections. We also have access to play reverb if we want to add them as well as special. Here's what it sounds like without the reverb. It's a dry. And you can adjust it to taste right here. So the way they have it set up, you have voices, you have drums. Uh, percussion, electric, acoustic guitars, keyboards, um, as well as the orchestra. And then you have some a mono patch, some other patches, and so on for reverb. Now, if we take a look at the uh, keyboards, notice we have a piano room. So under keyboards, we have all these options down here. So you can do movie piano. So if I select that one, so notice in this reverb we have plate and also special. So if I click here, these are the uh, special options. You have tunnel, uh, full clicks, L, 2R, and so on that add different flavors. And you can solo these special effects. Like right now we have the Microm modulated or micro modulated. Here's your UK wide. Enveloper. And then if we bring everything else in. And these are adjustable as well. You can adjust the tails. And that's just the special reverb. So as you see, there are a lot of options. If we go back to the uh, presets, Then we, under, if we go to under orchestra, then we have a classic or a compact hall, classic piano A.
as you see, we have flute, classic quartet, and so on. So yeah, there's a lot of places to go. Here's a pop quartet. Okay, so let's move on to the next instrument. The uh, voices. And for this one, I went ahead and uh, chose a voice patch from the uh, actually Ethno World 5. And let's go ahead and take a look at the actual reverb. So if we go down to uh, this one here, this is the reverb that's being applied it's for voices. And then we'll set the uh, voices to focus. Now, if I take the reverb off, then we get yeah. a very dry sound. And then with the reverb on. So, a fun little uh, library, Ethno World 5. So, uh, now if we look at what we've got under voices, we have the start. We can go to a strong field. Big and warm. Big and warm with delay. So here you see the delay module has been activated, and here's your time. You can you've got quarter notes, quarter note triplets, uh, eighth notes, duple, duplet, duplets, and then you have eighth notes all the way down to sixteenth, uh, even thirty seconds. So a fun, a fun library and a fun reverb to work with. As you can see, it's extremely versatile. So you have your uh, impulse responses, your convolution reverb, as well as your algorithmic reverb. And here's a compressor that you can throw in on the chain. So you have your sustain attack release output. And then we could use drive on this one as well. Add a little color. Drive it more. So very versatile. Let's go ahead and take a look at another instrument. Strings, we use them all the time. So the particular library I chose for this, this was the uh, Berlin Strings. And let's go ahead and uh, take the browser off. And then let's look at the corresponding reverb. So this is the re-matrix with a reverb preset for strings, strings hall in particular. So as you see, uh, in the strings hall, we have hall, we have room and early. There's a little bit of um, spread motion and intensity, and we can turn that off if we want. 
by double clicking. So that's without it. This is adding more motion to the reverb, spreading it out more. And again, we can solo any of these reverbs. Here's the hall. Here's your early. And then as we go through the uh, presets, here's your, here's your overall presets. We're in an orchestra now. As we go down, we have some uh, mix packs as well. And so within the mix packs, um, you have special reverbs, hard ambience. So we look at that one. Here's a vintage. Theater. Some John Paterno presets. He has one for a concert piano. So if we go uh, back to orchestra, we have our strings hall. There's also a hybrid, hybrid strings preset. So now you've got plate. the tail on the plate and solo it. So again, just tons of versatility. Let's go ahead and take a look at um, the next instrument, electric guitars. So the one I'm using is, um, for right now is the Scoring Guitars 2. And we have a dry um, patch. So the reverb we're applying to it is the Rematrix um, Electric Guitar Preset Exciter 1. Suppose we put a strong hall reverb in there. So let's go ahead and take a look at the acoustic guitar. The one that we're using for this is the a nylon guitar by Virtu. Let's go ahead and take a look at the reverb. So here we have the corresponding reverb. So it's got the picked preset. We have the uh, Micro modulated. Notice it has room played early and special reverb. And pick dark wood. Here's 
fat string. So notice we get uh, room in early, plus we have the drive compression and EQ on. Here's your Q, which you can raise, of course. It's actually drum ambience. You could do tight and fresh. And then, of course, you can tweak these as EQ 1 and 2. As well as pan stereo. So we can pan it. Give it more stereo width. width. signal chain for everything. Let's go ahead and take a look at um, the next one we have. This is French horns. So we'll go ahead and get the uh, French horns reverb, which is down a little further. There it is, just brass. That's what I called it. And the brass we're using is modern scoring brass that recently came out by Audiobro, Auto Divisi. Let's go ahead and do some sustains. Now the uh, patch we're running here is the Epic Hans horns. So if we go down to the um, orchestra, then we have close brass, fat brass, staccato brass, brass pad, uh, muted trumpet, staccato brass, epic Hans horns, and here's just horns. So just do the horns. It has hall room and early. Those are the presets we have for early. Here's some of the presets we have for room. So quite a few. They chose for this preset uh, flutter. And then for the hall reverb, they chose medium. So here would be wide mod. So you can tweak it till your heart's content. Okay, you've got EQs here, EQ there. And next, let's go ahead and take a look at the full orchestra library. So for this, I used Metropolis 4. And notice we have the, in the mic positions, We've got close one, close two, so it's a dry signal. And then the reverb is the orchestra reverb. So it's digital hall, and we can, we'll change that. As we scroll down our presets in orchestra, we have all these options. We have uh, movie orchestra. So, so you have your hall room played early, 
reflections. And then of course you have the other effects. Here's your reverb effect applied to your reverb. And here you see these two effects are being summed, the reverb and the mod effect. And you can turn them both off. algorithmic box is turned off. Compression EQ, all that's turned off. So here's your hall. Room. Plate. Your early reflections. And then uh, there was no special. Then we have uh, Galaxy Orchestra. So we have everything. All room played early, special, drive. We don't have compression. That's about the only thing. And we don't have delay. So we could even add that in if we wanted to. So those are your mods. Epic Orchestra. So there they've added in the compression as well as the... So that pretty well gives you a rough idea of the scope of the presets in the uh, Rematrix Reverb and how they're applied to these various instrument groups, limited in this case just to uh, piano, uh, voices, strings, electric acoustic guitars, horns, and uh, orchestral info. Also, like right now, we did look at the audio or the voice reverb. I could apply it to this. Right here. And for example, if we go to the actual audio for voices and pull up the reverb, you can see what's going on. So we can turn off. All the algorithmic and the delay, and now we just have, and then we can do solo maybe early. So now we just have early reflections going on. We could do plate and so on. So that gives you an idea which you can do with uh, Rematrix, very versatile. A lot of options, a combination of convolution and algorithmic reverb, and just incredible amount of flexibility. So, Bill McFadden, if you wish to subscribe, please do. And if you subscribe, please click the bell icon so you'll be notified. If you like the video, please click like. So, Bill McFadden signing off from Tone Music.